This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2023. Repair of a fractured bone involves the reactivation of the wingless integrated or WINT pathway. However, inhibitors of the WINT pathway, such as sclerostin and DICOP1 or DKK1, can impair bone formation and hamper the repair process. In rodent models, the dual inhibition of sclerostin and DKK1 has been shown to increase bone volume and strength. However, this combination has not been tested in non-human primates or NHPs. A team of researchers has recently examined the individual and combined effect of sclerostin and DKK1 antibodies on ulnar osteotomy healing in NHPs, namely Cynomolgus monkeys. The monkeys were divided into four groups to receive a vehicle, anti-sclerostin antibodies, anti-DKK1 antibodies, and a combination of both, or combo, respectively. The results showed that anti-sclerostin antibodies and combo increased systemic markers of bone formation and decreased serum markers of bone resorption more than the vehicle group. Moreover, Combo showed synergistic increases over anti-sclerostin or anti-DKK1 antibody monotherapies. Osteotomy imaging and torsional testing indicated greater bone mineral content, bone mineral density, torsional stiffness and rigidity, and bone area in the anti-DKK1 antibody and combo groups than in the vehicle group. Moreover, the lumbar vertebrae from the anti-sclerostin antibodies and combo groups showed greater bone mineral density and bone formation than those from the vehicle group. In summary, combination therapy with sclerostin and DKK1 outperforms monotherapy in terms of bone repair activity, supporting its therapeutic potential in preventing and treating fractures in patients with low bone mass disorders.